Um, hello, good morning. I'm here to, to tell you a small story about how we succeeded thanks to OVH and our collaboration. And um, I think you're going to enjoy um, the little things that happened and, and how we, we managed to, to succeed thanks to OVH. So just uh, to present a little what is Edustans Cloud, um, we are a training as a service solution that enable anyone anywhere to train or to have an outsourcing of their training. So, so how does it work? Basically, what we define or uh, what we um, try to, to create was a way to interact with our customers and by understanding their training needs um, and, and, and uh, then analyzing what, what, how can we help them. And then, you know, we, we get a team of consultants getting, um, you know, uh, putting together all the ideas about how we can help you, uh, which kind of labs we can create for you, um, basically to, to, to allow you to succeed in your training. Um, then we design the environment for you and deploy it, and then you are able to train anyone from anywhere in the world. You know, no limitations, you know, OpenStack, um, VMware, any, any kind of training that requires a special setup, you know, we can do it. Okay, so some uh, example of different trainings. Uh, you see here that there's many different places uh, that we've been doing the training in the world, and um, that is a challenge. You'll see why I'm explaining all this now, because to do that, we had um, uh, challenges that we could not, you know, we needed a data center or a hosting provider that didn't exist, or we didn't know that existed to be able to do that. We needed uh, uh, someone that had a vision of future like we did uh, for, for training and, and uh, someone that could provide an environment that meted our requirements. So here we can see, as we mentioned before, challenges in one side and then on the other side we'll see how, how we managed to, to accomplish all that in a very short time. You have to think that our biggest issue was that we went from proof of concept to, to production in, uh, in about a month because we needed, someone was very interested in, in solutions, they needed us to, to deliver and we couldn't find the proper um, ecosystem to work there. So thanks to, 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 to OBH, let's say that we, we were able, to, we needed some, the challenges we were mentioning before was like being able to deploy hardware on demand at a short notice. We needed to deploy uh, new hypervisors, new storage, new um, uh, infrastructure in, in a matter of day, in a matter of hours, really. But to be able to deliver everything in a matter of days, we needed high-end hardware at reasonable prices. We were a startup. We needed uh, the highest quality to be able to provide the highest quality for our customers, but also we needed to be able to afford it. We, you know, we were starting. Uh, also, for us, was very important the geolocation. That's why before I show you different uh, locations where our trainings take place. You know, sometimes we need to to deploy a uh, training environment in uh, in the United States. Sometimes it's in in, in Europe. Sometimes it can be somewhere uh, closer to, to Spain. So we have uh, very you know our locations for training are very very different and need to be dynamically deployed and we needed also to not have a long commitment for those places okay we for example we sometimes do a training for two months in one location and then we just um, change the location and uh, um, remove all those servers so we needed a kind of a dedicated server um, cloud-like solution which was agile and, pro and allow us to 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 be flexible also, we, we needed, obviously, hardware support 24-7, um, and, and, and that's what we, we were really surprised about the, the level of uh, support from OBH. Um, I have to say that is, you know, I used to work for Red Hat, and we were very proud of our training and um, our uh, support, and, and, you know, we used to talk about that uh, a lot. But I have to say, with OBH, I found the same um, kind of... Uh, technicians or engineers, they're very highly skilled, they know their products, they can help you with really anything, any questions you have, they have the answer. So that for us was great because we were 
cloud architects, but we didn't know the architecture of um, OVH. Then one of the main reasons why we chose OVH was that our servers needed to communicate internally. You know, we had services that needed to communicate globally uh, to, to keep, uh, let's say, to communicate about geolocation and storage uh, for uh, disaster recovery. We needed to have our networks to be also um, at the layer of the labs from, for our trainings. They needed to communicate globally. Um, we needed also a very good communication um, for remote consoles and, and all these setups we have. And we found BRAC. BRAC was my, <laughs> I have to say, BRAC. I, I fall in love with BRAC because I remember the times where I used to um, try to get a VLAN setup for us in a data center. And it took like, you know, it takes like three days to, to actually, someone can configure it, then you, you try to ping something and it's not working, and then, you know, it takes like three, four days sometimes to, to get someone to configure it properly. And I couldn't believe when I was clicking on the UI and just getting the rewrap up and running, and, and, and I just have to bring up the, the villains and the nicks. And I, seriously, I know it's very simple, but for me it was a dream, you know, it was beautiful to, to be able to do that. So here is a, is a little bit of a, it has changed a lot, you know, a little, but just to show you that we are, you know, geodispersed, we're using uh, different uh, setups, you know, we, we internally built our own open stack with um, uh, cluster storage, you know, like local storage for hypervisors, which communicate in a, and becomes a distributed sun, and then offers all the front ends or desktops or workstations for the students. Okay, it's, yeah, I can, if you have, are interested, I can explain you a bit more. It's not uh, the best um, diagram. Okay, so yeah, that's all from me. Um, I have to say thank you to, to OVH always, because it's been a pleasure.